Cesium is a chemical element belonging to an alkali metal whose element symbol is Cs and the atomic number is 55. It is a soft, bright gold alkali metal, one of the three metals that remain liquid at room temperature. A mineral containing cesium is pellucite, which is mainly buried in Canada. Cesium has about 30 different isotopes, most of which are cesium-133 and trace amounts of cesium-135 and cesium-137. Cesium was first discovered in 1860 in a spark spectrum experiment by German scientists Robert Bunsen and Gustav Robert Kirchhoff. Bunsen and Kirchhoff, who invented the spectrometer in 1859, examined trace elements in mineral water with a spectrometer and discovered cesium. Due to the appearance of two dark blue lines in the line spectra of Robert Bunsen and Kirchhoff, it was named cesium, or cesium, in Greek for cesius. As the first cesium compound, cesium chloride, cesium chloride, was also obtained by Bunsen and Kirchhoff, and metal cesium was first obtained in 1882. Contrary to popular perception, cesium is less toxic. Cesium chloride has similar toxicity to sodium chloride and potassium chloride, main components of salt. However, cesium is highly reactive, spontaneously oxidized in the air, catches fire, and immediately reacts explosively when it comes into contact with cold water. Metal cesium shall be stored in containers and solutions completely blocked from moisture. Sodium or potassium also explodes when put in water, but cesium is much worse than this, so when thrown into the tank, it explodes and breaks the tank at all. Throwing a lump of cesium into the water causes an explosion strong enough to puncture the plastic basin. Among the isotopes of cesium, cesium-133 is often used to make atomic clocks. The criterion for defining time is cesium-133. This is because the International Conference on Metrology, CGPM, in 1967 defined one second as 99, 2,631,770 cycles of radiation emitted from the transition between the two ultrafine energy levels at the bottom of the cesium-133 atom, the isotope of cesium. Countries around the world have secured cesium atomic clocks and have secured a standard of one second according to the definition above. At the current level of technology, it is accurate enough to generate an error of about one second every 30 million years. Cesium watches are used by various standard systems and GPS satellites. Cesium, called death ash, is a radioactive isotope, cesium-137. Among radioactive isotopes, cesium-137 is dangerous because it emits gamma rays. This is because gamma rays can penetrate the skin. Precisely, gamma rays do not come out of the cesium state, but once cesium-137 changes to barium, ba, minus 137 meters, the barium collapses and releases gamma rays. The half-life of cesium-137 is about 30 years, and it is a substance produced by product of fission. In 1987, there was a Guayana radioactive spill in which four people were killed and more than 200 were exposed after unwittingly touching cesium-137s. Cesium-137 is rarely present in nature and occurs almost entirely in the use of nuclear power or nuclear weapons. Therefore, it is used as an indicator of radioactive leakage accidents, and this cesium-137 is also a problem in the accident at the Fukushima nuclear power plant in Japan in 2011. In the event of an accident in which a core melts, such as the Fukushima nuclear power plant accident, cesium-137 and iodine-131 are considered to have a large amount of emissions and a large impact on the human body. In particular, cesium has a long half-life which greatly affects long-term soil pollution. It is used to estimate the degree of contamination of food by irradiating radioactive iodine and cesium. Of course, other radioactive substances are dangerous, but for convenience of inspection, only iodine and cesium are tested to see how contaminated they are. Cesium-137 is very dangerous, but if the gamma rays generated by the collapse of cesium-137 are used under well-controlled conditions, it can be used for radiation treatment or sterilization of food. Cesium-137 is produced in trace amounts through spontaneous fission of uranium and thorium in nature, but it is actually negligible because it is such a trace amount. Thus, since the only mass production is possible only through nuclear power or the explosion of nuclear weapons, the element cesium-137 did not exist in nature before 1945 when the first nuclear test was conducted. Thanks to this, cesium-137 is also used to differentiate wine. If a wine is examined and cesium-137 is found in the wine, it means that the wine was made after 1945.